Hey YouTube, Dawson Rider here with a review of D-Arts Blastoise from Pokemon. So this is our third Pokemon D-Arts and our second in the line of Kanto starters. So this is pretty exciting. Um, we are getting Venusaur as well, but I'm hoping they continue the line even further because I love me some Pokemon and some figures, so it'll be nice to get lots of different Pokemon, hopefully the starters and whatnot, and I'll just keep babbling. But anyhow, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, just taking a quick look at the box. I'm a bit thicker, like um, always with these boxes. Uh, you got a big picture of Blastoise here on the front. Obviously you can see it's mainly primarily blue. Um, it says DR here, it says Pokemon. Um, and then on the side here you just get some designs. A little silhouetted image of him. On the back it shows you the stuff you can do with him. Him looking cool. This continues the image, it says DR. And on the top another image of him. So... Oops. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, nothing really too special. Um, he doesn't really come with all that much. Uh, you do get this stand, which I don't want to be offensive to Blastoise's weight, but it can't really hold him. Um, I guess you're, you could put the Hydro Pump pieces in it, like it says, but there's really no need, so this is really pointless. In general, I think stages are pointless. Um, I guess if you want to, you could just have him standing on the Pokeball, if that's your thing, but I guess it's nice that they have it, but it's really unnecessary. So other than that, in himself, he also comes with two Hydro Pump effect parts. Uh, so that's very cool. I'll put those in him in just a second. So very, very neat. So taking a look at Blastoise, I think he looks really, really cool. Um, as I said in my last uh, DR review, Charizard is one of my favorite Pokemon. Blastoise is as well. I know they're cliche choices, but Blastoise in particular holds a special place in my heart because, uh, you know, Squirtle was my very first Pokemon, like, ever. Like, Pokemon Blue, first Pokemon. So, uh... Yeah, so I, I really do love Blastoise. Uh, I think detail-wise, he looks great. He looks like he popped right out of the cartoon. Uh, the colors on him look great. Uh, they captured a, a sort of facial expression great. Um, just overall great. That is the buzzword of this review. Um, and because he is more of like a, a stocky Pokemon, and he's not uh, like skinny or like Mewtwo or Charizard, you don't see his articulation as much, which I don't necessarily think is a bad thing, because these are obviously articulated figures, but I think that makes him look um, even better in some ways. But yeah, like I said, very nicely done, the color looks nice, uh, very much so like it popped out of the cartoon. Um, you do get articulation, because obviously this is a Tomashi product. Um, so for his little arms here, you kind of got the swiveling here, uh, you've got a a little bit of a hinge here so he can wave at you, it's adorable. Uh, even his little fingers are on articulation. Um, here you got various joints here on his neck so you can move up and down and sort of circular and whatnot. And his mouth opens and closes, which is nice, so you can do whatever kind of poses you want with that. His legs here are on sort of like this this swivel, like cup, I feel like cup articulation, it's weird, so you can swivel it around. His uh, various like toes and claws are also on slight little articulation. I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want him to fall out. Um, his tail here can also move a little bit if you so desire, and his cannons can also move around in this ball joint. So, obviously not as articulated as some other figures, but he is Blastoise, so I feel like it doesn't matter that much, and there's not much you can do about it. But, um, still a great figure. Um, and as I sh showed you, uh, or as you saw, you can put the water effect parts here, so you can do on Hydro Pump. So, whoops, I thought I got that in there. So yeah, he can be like, like Blastoise, use Hydro Pump, and he's like, okay. And then he does it. So yeah, very, very cool. Um, but yeah, that's actually about it. This is a fairly short review, so sorry if you wanted more. But overall, I really love this figure. As I said, Blastoise is one of my favorite Pokemon, and he holds a special place in my heart. But regardless of that, he's a great-looking figure. He just looks really nice on the shelf. Looks like he popped right out of the cartoon. Um, good articulation for what you can do with him, great details, the Hydro Pump effect looks cool. Thomas G. Stan's kind of useless, but overall, if you're a Blastoise fan or a Pokemon fan, I can definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, like I said, I really do hope that they continue uh, the Pokemon DX line. Very, very cool. So I enjoy it. So that's about it for this short review. Until next time, make sure you check out the crazy podcast at Riders, Rangers, and Rambles. Until next time, this is Dawson Rider, signing